Elias Stefanescu for GMP One TV here with Miguel Palo, the Bellator fighter who's coming to Germany to fight Abus Magomedov at GMC Seven. Um, Miguel, how did you get this fight? I mean, um, did you have Abus on your radar? Uh, no, I really, I really didn't have Abus on my radar. But uh, I was looking for a fight, and um, Joachim, my teammate, he was uh, fighting at the GMC, and um, Nikolai, my coach, he asked uh, if they could get a fight for me, and they uh, they offered me to fight Abus, and uh, yeah, I said yes because I think it's a good fight. Um, the the usual uh, the first opponent of Abus got cancelled, and then you jumped in uh, on short notice. Uh, is it difficult? Uh, how much time did you have, or is that uh, no problem for you? I think uh, I knew about about the fight like uh, five weeks before the the date of the fight so i did have some time and uh, i was already training like i was fighting so i was in good shape so i felt like that's plenty of time for me to just you know peak my shape and uh, what do you know about abus um from what i see uh, i saw him fight actually a few years back when he fought in copenhagen against uh, david rosmond And I remember already back then I thought like, oh, he looks really solid, like good wrestling and stuff. Um, he looks like he's uh, improved his striking. So I think he's pretty all round, uh, kind of uh, a little bit like me, but it looks like his background is wrestling. Does he bring any danger? I mean, is there something where you say I have to watch out for something? Um, I think he he switches a little bit his stance when he when he's in the stand up and um he has some good knees and obviously he has a good range but um I don't know I like he doesn't seem to go so much for takedowns he seems to use his wrestling now more defensively so um there's not one thing in particular like I said I think he's very well rounded so I'm going to try to be prepared for everything Uh, what about uh, the weight uh, division? It's it's a catch weight fight, 82 kilos. Um, I think that's a good thing for you because normally he's fighting at 77 at welterweight. Do you think it's a big advantage? Um, I don't think it's a huge advantage. Obviously, I'm I'm used to fighting some some bigger, uh, stronger guys, but um, maybe I will have some weight on him. But I, I don't consider it to be a, a huge advantage. I, I think he's a he's a good fighter, so I will treat him with uh, respect. Um, Abus is a former GMC champion. Um, what would a win against him bring you? And are you do you have the the GMC belt some kind in the back of your head? Um, I haven't really thought about the GMC belt, but um, for sure to win against Abus. Um, would be a great win you know to put put a great guy on my uh, on my record um so yeah you know and obviously win my comeback fight so so it would be a good thing to win against him yeah you just told us about the comeback and um, can you tell us why you were uh, out for so long and injury and uh, yeah what happened uh i tore my acl uh 18 well 15 months ago um in training And um, yeah, then then I just uh, have to make the rehab, and uh, then I had some time to, you know, reconsider the way I was doing things. So I actually feel like I've become a smarter and a stronger fighter. Um, is it something special for you to fight in Germany and also um, in in Abu's home? Um, would it mean more to get the win there? Um, it's special for me to fight in Germany because it's uh, closer to uh, Denmark and uh, I feel like it's uh, closer to uh, some of my Danish fans and I hope some of them are going to come there. And I didn't really think too much about it being uh, Abus's home base, um, but 
of course it's it's always good to win on um another guy's um home home court or whatever you say on enemy territory um do you have a last message for abus um abus be ready because uh you know i'm hungry and uh i'm stronger than ever so you know bring bring the fight thank you very much i have one more question um i i heard that your a book is coming out um, can you tell us about that and what does it mean for Denmark and uh, the scene, the MMA scene? I, hopefully it will uh, rise with your help. Um, I hope it can uh, cast some light on, uh, on uh, the MMA uh, sport in Denmark and um, maybe get some people who might not have uh, known so much about MMA interested in MMA. Um, yeah. Can you give us a little more details about the book and, and maybe when it's coming out and how people that are seeing this interview can get it? Um, the book is coming out the 30th, 30th of uh, October and uh, it's about my story since I was a kid until now. Both uh, my life in the cage and in the sport and also some of the stuff that uh, has happened outside the cage. and. Um, It's also about how MMA started, and we have a, f a lot of people from the like key figures of the Danish MMA community in the book talking about different stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that insight and best of luck, of course, for your fight. See you then uh, at GMC 7 on November 7. Thank you. Thank you. I'm in power. I'm in power.